sorry, sorry. <laughs> American diplomatic relationships which were, uh, we have established just 100 years ago. And this is a, a fantastic story of excellent relationship, even during sad times of the Second World War and communist times. As I would have mentioned to Vice President, our hero here during the 80s was President Reagan, Ronald Reagan. So we were uh, very much uh, you know, attached um, to um, we are uh, very much reliant on our American friends during difficult times uh, in, in the 80s, during the martial law. And today, Poland is, is you know, booming. Uh, we have one of the strongest, we have actually the strongest growth amongst all the biggest, uh, bigger European uh, nations. Uh, more than 5% GDP growth uh, last year. Lots of new American companies coming to Poland every year. So thank you for this. And more and more Polish business people are interested in investing in, in, in America. So uh, I'm, I'm very happy that those mutual trading and investment business type relationships are developing in the right direction. So thank you for this. Hello. Thank you very much, Lydia. Press. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you uh, to you and your wonderful wife for your warm hospitality. It's been a very inspiring day, a very moving day. Uh, and I'm, I'm truly grateful uh, for the warm welcome that you've extended to our delegation. Uh, and I want to congratulate you uh, on hosting the first ever ministerial on the future of peace and security in the Middle East. It has uh, truly been a historic gathering, uh, and Poland's leadership in bringing together more than 50 countries uh, willing to sit down and break bread, um, Arab countries, uh, Israel, and countries from around the world to, to see what, what uh, we can pursue together and what our common threats are, uh, we believe represents significant progress in a, in a dialogue for achieving peace and, and stability. Um, but as I said to you before, I'll say publicly, I've spoken to the President several times today, and he wanted to convey his greetings to you personally and his thanks, uh, not only for uh, uh, Poland's leadership and the ministerial this week, but, uh, but for the strong relationship, stronger than ever, between the United States and Poland. The President uh, reflects often uh, on his experience, uh, where he was given the uh, warm welcome here in Warsaw, the ability to speak at, at that glorious memorial to the Warsaw Rising. Uh, and it was deeply inspiring for me to be there today. Also to, to join American uh, troops and to see Polish armed forces uh, together yesterday. Um, and uh, we're grateful for, uh, for Poland's commitment to our common defense. Poland is one of only four nations uh, in NATO other than the United States that meets its obligation of a 4% or a 2% uh, GDP commitment uh, uh, to our uh, common defense. And we're grateful for uh, your <coughs> and sharing and, and for the warm uh, hospitality you've extended to American forces here in Poland and look forward to continuing the discussions about the presence of, uh, of American troops on the ground uh, here in Poland. We also, as you said, uh, Mr. Prime Minister, we have strong economic ties. And you share a similar business background in many ways to the president, coming into public life from a successful career uh, in business. Uh, and uh, we're proud of the fact that those companies have invested $43 billion in Poland. Uh, we look forward to continuing to build a relationship, uh, mutual benefit, uh, free, fair, and reciprocal trade. We're grateful that Poland has signed three LNG contracts with U.S. companies, and we're especially grateful for Poland's strong stand against Nord Stream 2. Uh, and uh, 
want to assure you that the United States of America stands with you. And we also stand ready to help Poland meet its energy needs in the future, not only with regard to natural gas, but nuclear and a diverse energy portfolio that will support a growing Polish economy. And so with that, I, I thank you and your team uh, for the warm welcome. Look forward to a good discussion uh, uh, about uh, issues of mutual concern. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I look forward to seeing you in, wa in Washington, D.C. sometime very soon. Thank you, Vice President. Well, I, I, I can only emphasize what you just said. Not, not too many nations like, like Poland being at the same time pro American yeah. and pro European. So we could build this bridge between well, a transatlantic bridge. Even if we're going in the right direction, the Vampiro 